I am texting. I am an 18 year old foreign exchange trader. I teach and show people how to trade currencies within the foreign exchange market. I have a company called Powerhouse Investments LLC. And today I said my intro backwards. Um, I got a new haircut. I mean, the top kind of messed up, the curls kind of fell, but you know, whatever. Um, but today, what we're gonna talk about is one of the most important videos, and that is probably for anybody that is new to my channel. So this is probably a new person on my channel type video, but this video is basically, I'm gonna tell y'all how I got started, and then I'm gonna tell y'all what I think y'all first step should be to get started with the journey of becoming a forex trader. So, um, basically the way that I got started is I saw somebody that was, that went to my high school, they was posting about it on Snapchat. So as they were posting about it on Snapchat, I kept seeing it, kept seeing it, kept seeing it. I ended up asking her, like, what is this? She told me it was Forex, and I was like, well, how do I do it? She immediately directed me to IML. So before, like, before, like, when Forex first, like, got introduced to me, it was only introduced through IML. Like, I didn't have, like, an outside experience. I'm happy that I did get introduced to IML. I don't regret it, but, like, maybe I have a bias sometimes of having a team because that is just the way I learn. But I'm happy that I learned with a team. I'm happy that I joined with a team and all that. So, uh, at the time, IML was $217 to get started. I immediately got started the next day. I actually researched videos on Forex for one full day. So, I had my laptop. I had um, she told me about it. I went to work that day. And when I got home, I researched what Forex was for the whole day. And I was like, all right, I'm just do it. Um, if it don't work, it don't work. If I get scammed, I get scammed. I'm not really worried about it. And it was interesting to me. And then the next day, I just chose to sign up. So, um, yeah. And ever since then, I've been trading and things of that nature. Yeah. So, what should your first steps be? Ask somebody that's looking to join for it. One, have already set yourself out of schedule. So, you know your daily, like, plans at the back of your head, right? Set you out a schedule of when you are going to commit yourself to for it before you pay anybody any money to join their team or even if you want to put money in your trading account you don't want to be on the team but you do want to start trading and be an independent trader and you plan on putting money in your account set aside set aside time to actually do this right two if you are deciding to join a team make sure you do research on the different people um go to different people just because your friend do, does for it doesn't mean that you should necessarily sign up with them or enroll under them um i'm not saying don't enroll under your friend i'm just saying maybe your friend don't teach the way you teach. Or maybe you a person that can't do business with your friends. Just know your friends. Um, or know the people that you're enrolling under. Um, make sure they got good content on their social media. Make sure they've been, you know, not necessarily who's been doing it the longest. Because even new people, even if somebody new introduced you to the opportunity, just make sure not even that they know the most, but that they are dedicated to the opportunity. Because even if somebody does not know a lot about the opportunity, y'all can still learn together as long as you know that they're not falling off and they're not leaving you in the wind. And whatever they learn, they are going to be able to teach you that knowledge then if they introduce you to the opportunity, still uh, take it. Um, what else? Um, don't teach yourself. Start off with some capital. Make sure you put some money to the side before you decide to get started. Um, I would say 500, but if you just really eager to get started, at least 100. Um, what else? I'm trying to do like five. So right now I'm at three. Um, number four, be patient, bring your patience before you decide. The fifth thing will be if you can't invest into a computer. You don't have to, but I just think it's easier to see charts on a computer or iPad. So if you can invest into a computer before you decide to start trading or that's one of the things that you want to have when you start. Not saying you have to, but I do recommend it. And that is really it. You guys, that's 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 it. That's all. That's all. That that's it. So, um, as usual, social medias are on my left shoulder. Uh, if you like.
this video, give it a thumbs up, all that type of stuff. I love y'all. I mess with y'all heavy. Um, and then I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I'm making videos every single day for the rest of February. So I will see y'all tomorrow in a new video. If y'all want to in the comment section, tell me what video, what type of video I should make tomorrow.